Hey guys, so I have a collective haul to share with you. Quite a bit of stuff, so I'm going to try to go through it quickly. I guess I'll start with Mac. It's a really small Mac haul. I have had this since let's see, March 19th, so I've had it for a while. I haven't used them yet, though, just because I set them aside and I kind of forgot about them. I got one of their Creme Blend blushes, and this one is in the color Something Special, which is the corally pink one, which is usually the color I normally gravitate towards. It's really pretty color. Haven't used it yet. With products like this, I'm always like, oh, I don't want to use it because it looks so pretty um, and new. And I know once I touch it, it's not going to be that pretty anymore. And yeah. So that was that. And then I got one eyeshadow. Kind of boring. Um, this one is in Brulee, which is a satin. Um, it's a nice, you know, highlight color kind of boring like I said nothing too exciting and that was it for Mac yeah small small haul there's really nothing I really need from over there and so I'm trying to be good about that and then I got some Zoya nail polishes they were having a promo last month end of last month if you have an account with Zoya you probably already you got the email because it was only for people who had accounts already um, and the promo was you could buy any of the new like summer polishes um, and you could get one for free, so I decided to take advantage of it a little bit. I really wasn't going to get anything, but then I kind of talked myself into it. So I got four. I paid for two, and I got two for free. Um, so the first one that I got is the one I'm wearing right now, and it's Tansy, and it's this really pretty orange with gold shimmer. It's really nice. That's what I have on my nails right now. Although I don't honestly know how I like it on me, on my skin tone. Probably just going to use it as a toenail polish from now on. I don't really like how it looks on me. Um, I will post pictures of swatches on my blog just because I was going to paint like every finger a different color and show you, but I was like, oh, never mind. Um, so I did paint my nails that color and I took pictures and I'll post those on my blog. So that one was Tansy. And then I got another one of like the glittery shimmery ones. And I got another one in Faye, which is this really pretty like plummy purple um, with gold shimmer. It has, you can almost see some silver shimmer to it too. Um, it's really nice. This one's actually on my toes right now. And on my toes it looks more like like fuchsia, pinky, um, not so much purple. It's really pretty and that's probably because it has like the gold shimmer in it. But I love that one too. And then I got two of the cream finish ones. And this one's Mira. And it's just a really nice cream finish like medium blue toned purple it's really pretty um, when I got this I was kind of worried it was going to be really similar to one that I already had which is Demi also by Zoya but obviously you can tell this one's definitely more red toned this one's more blue toned um, but when it dries it actually takes on more of like a pinky sheen to it so it's more kind of like a, a warmer purple once it's actually dry but it's really really pretty um, and then lastly I don't know why I never really buy red nail polishes usually when you get like you know OPI will do like a holiday set and and they'll have like a red polish and then like something else and then like usually I'll buy them on clearance they're not really my go-to color because I feel like oh I have a lot of red reds like a basic color I have tons and then I was looking through my collection I was like really you don't have that much red all the reds I have are like dark like burgundy maroony reds or I have like frosty reds with glitter um, I have an SC one that has like real like 14 karat gold in it um, and I was like, I don't have just a basic, like, cream red nail polish, like, one that's just a perfect red. And so I decided to get one from this promotion, and I got Sookie. And it's just this gorgeous cream finish, like, cherry red. Um, it's looking a little more, like, pink in the screen, but it's legit red. And this is so opaque. It's ridiculous. As I was applying it, I was so shocked at how opaque it was. This and... And this one was pretty opaque, but the the red one definitely was, and it's just gorgeous. And it has, um, Zoya describes it as like a jelly-like finish, and I have to agree. It's just, it's so, so pretty. And you're probably thinking it's red, you know, that's boring. But really, it's gorgeous, and I am so, so happy that I decided to pick that up. So that was it for Zoya, and then I have some stuff from the drugstore. Um, another nail polish. Um, this one is Revlon. This is one of their scented ones, and I have this one in 345 Peach Smoothie. Um, 
it's all right it's kind of like a nudie peach color with like iridescent shimmer in it um i don't really like how it goes on it's kind of streaky so you do have to put quite a few coats on but um it does dry scented it doesn't smell like peach to me even though it's called peach smoothie it smells more like orange like a like an orange julius or something um and then um also I, I got that at cvs and then i picked up see, put it in my ulta bag so i got some stuff at ulta too but i picked up another one of the physician's formula their eye booster two-in-one line boost or lash boosting eyeliner and serum um I was going to get another one in black, but I accidentally grabbed the deep brown instead. Um, but I'm actually really glad because I do like it. Um, it's actually quite dark. Let's see. It's quite a dark brown. So it's it's almost similar to black, except it's not as harsh. So I'm glad I got another one of those because I do really like those. I talked about that in like a favorites video. Um, and then at Rite Aid a couple weeks ago, they were having Maybelline on sale for 40% off. And so... I decided that I would give their um, foundation a try. This is their Fit Me foundation. They have it in 120. And it's what I'm wearing today. I've been wearing it for the past couple days. And I've read reviews of people saying, you know, they don't really like it, doesn't wear that well, not a lot of coverage. I don't know. I like it. I don't know. It works for me. It's a little bit dark for me. I did set it with my Mineralized Skin Finish Natural. It's a tad dark, but I think in the summer it'll be perfect. Um, but I do like it. I don't know. So I don't have like the powder and concealer. I went to Ulta because Ulta this week is having um, a 40% off sale on, let's see, Maybelline, Revlon, NYX, and Almay Cosmetics are all 40% off this week at Ulta. So I went and I looked to see if they had the concealer. They were out of the concealer um, in the shade that I wanted, and then I don't know why I didn't even look at the powder. Um, I guess because I really like the Mineralized Skin Finish to set it, but maybe I'll go back and try that. But I did get a few of their blushes, and I have a little rant, actually, because... The girl at Ulta did not understand the concept of using a coupon for every item. She had read, I had these, which is awesome. I saw these at CVS, so if you guys can find them, they're great. $2 off of a Fit Me concealer or blush. Um, that's a great value, especially when it's on sale already. Like These were 40% off. Um, I think it was on sale for like $2.99, $2 off, it was $0.99. Cents. She didn't understand that I could use a coupon for every item. She was like, oh, it says here one coupon per purchase. And I'm like, okay, it doesn't say one coupon per transaction, it says per purchase. So if I'm purchasing, like, multiples of these, I can use one coupon for each item. She didn't get that. She refused to use it. So I was a little mad. I might go back and return these and then rebuy them because it's just the idea of it like you probably like it's not that big of a deal to me it was a big deal because she didn't know that you could do that and it was just annoying to me that she was like no 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 you can't do that and I'm like why don't you go ask someone and find out I go to CVS all the time Walgreens everywhere else accepts multiple coupons as long as you have enough items for it like obviously when it says one coupon per purchase it means you can't like use two of these coupons on one item it means you can use one coupon on one item you can use another coupon on another item whatever she didn't get it so that kind of bothered me that's my little rant anyway I got a few of the fit me blushes some from CVS um, and then two I got at Ulta so I got the medium coral at Ulta yesterday and then I got the light nude which is just like a nude color um, like has a hint of like a peachy tone when I got it home I was like it kinda looks like it's gonna make me dirty but we'll see I don't know so I got those um, and then at CVS I saw these two on clearance no no I saw this one on clearance so I picked it up this is the light bronze it's a bronzer and then I picked up light rose blush I haven't used any of these yet um, but I got those and, um, what else? Okay. And then I have some eyeshadows. This one I got a few weeks back at Rite Aid when they were having the 40% off, and it's the Stylish Smoke Squad in Natural Smokes. Um, so zero two. I picked this one, the one that has the four quadrant. I don't know if I showed you this already. Did I show you this? I don't know. But um, they have new ones, and I'll show you what that looks like. Because I got this one at Ulta, where they're kind of packaged like this now, where 
they make the lid color and the crease color a little bit smaller and the base and the liner color a lot bigger. This one is in Modern Metallics Chai Latte 22Q. I noticed that the newer packaging, like I love the Enchanted Forest one and they have it now in the um, Modern Metallics, but the colors aren't the same as my old one. So kind of a bummer that they've changed things around, but yeah, so I have this one in the, like I said, Stylish Smokes, I think that's what it's called. I don't know, I really like it, or Natural Smokes. Um, the two bottom matte colors I really like. This top um, kind of taupey gray color is kind of chunky and glittery, so I'm not too big a fan of that. Um, but yeah, so I picked up Chai Latte because I've heard lots of really good things about this. But like I said, it seems like the colors are kind of different from what I remember them being. And then I got a single shadow, which I did use today. Um, and it's Tastefully Taupe. And this is from their Chic Naturals, I guess. And it's 250S Tastefully Taupe. It's just this really pretty, like, silvery, taupey color. And like, that's what I have on my eyes today, a little bit on my eyes. It's just a really light, taupey color really pretty and then um, at Ulta which is the main reason why I went there was to get this and it's their um, super blender um, from their basically you collection which is the Ulta brand this is $4.99 it's the dupe of the um, beauty blender or the Sonia Kashuk blending sponge so I thought for $4.99 um, I didn't want to get the beauty blender because that's like $20 for a sponge and I couldn't bring myself to do it Sonia Kashuk I saw it at Target. It was nineteen or sorry, it was nine ninety nine. And I was still kind of like, eh, what if I don't like it? So I decided to go to Ulta and get this one. It was four ninety nine. Um, and yeah, so that was that. And then at Macy's, I've been wanting this for a while, and I finally gave in and got it. And it's the Daisy Mark Jacobs. This is the newer one. This is the Oh So Fresh. I like this one a lot better than the original Daisy. Actually, I don't like the Daisy at all. Um cute bottle and everything. I just never liked it. It was just too strong of a scent for me. It smelled kind of more mature in my opinion. This one I really like and it's gorgeous. And it's this is the oh so fresh one. This one's just a lot lighter, a lot um, a lot funner. It has more of like a fruity scent to it. It's floral, fruity and fresh. It's just really nice. It's very pretty. It smells very girly. And then the scent that I got, it came with the I think this is 2.5 fluid ounces of the Eau de Toilette, and let me put it back in here, and then it came with a 5.1 ounce um, body lotion, which this by itself is $35, and this by itself is $70, so it's $105, but if you buy the set, it's only $75, so I thought, well, I'm going to get this anyway, so I might as well, you know, extra $5, I can get a lotion to go with it, so I got that, and I'm really, really happy about that. While I was there, they were doing like a promotion. I don't know if you're supposed to get like a Marc Jacobs tote with it because they didn't give me one. Online, I think you get one. But, um, oh well, I'm not too heartbroken. I usually don't use them anyway. But I did get one of their like other totes that you get with like a fragrance purchase. I don't want to take it out, the, out of the bag. But it's black and it has like a flower right here also in black. So that was a little freebie. And then... I guess when I went, it was like Marc Jacobs Day. That's what the girl had told me. So they gave me like a daisy, like a real daisy. And I thought that was really cute. It's over there. I'm not going to go grab it, but it's a real daisy. And then I got a little mini bottle of the Oh So Fresh. This is 0.13 fluid ounces. It's really, really cute. Look at that. It's adorable. So cute. So you keep that in your purse. Um, I don't know. I really like this scent. And I've been wanting it for a while, and I finally decided to get it. Um... So I'm really happy about that. And then um, I got a moisturizer at Clinique, and they were having their free gift with purchase. So I got their Moisture Surge moisturizer, which I really like. Me and my mom both use this, so we share it. Um, I always like to have a backup. So that's the Moisture Surge. I like that a lot. It's kind of like a gel-type consistency. I like this a lot better than the Dramatically Different Moisturizing Gel. Um, the dramatically different moisturizing line, I prefer the lotion over the gel, but for some reason I like this, even though it still has that like gel-like consistency. It's really nice. Um, very moisturizing, but it absorbs really well into your skin. And then the free gift, you get a little makeup bag, like always. I have so many of these free gift with purchase makeup bags, and you get a little one inside of it as well. Um, so that was that, and then you get, you know, your typical free gift of purchase things. 
um, don't really want to open it, but I love this. This is probably my favorite eye makeup remover. It's the Take the Day Off, but it's so pricey. A full full size one is like seventeen dollars, and I don't know for eye makeup remover. And I go through eye makeup remover a lot. I just couldn't bring myself to do it, but I love it when they give you those little ones in the sets because it's really my favorite, and I like to take it for traveling. Um, so yeah, that's my little collective haul. Um, sorry if it went on a little too long. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.